Oh shit, I didn't read my sponge. I'll be right back. Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Sarah's Honest Reviews. And today for our review, we have the newly launched K by Katrina's Hydrating Foundation. It's a new launch on the market, but this is not a sponsored video. Neither was this PR. So I've gone ahead and bought this myself. And I'm trying it out in today's video, giving you all a six hour wear test. And the fact that I am oily skin type and this is a hydrating foundation is what I really wanted to try out. That is this foundation suitable for oily skin girls as well, especially given the fact that our summers are coming on it's a wide spectrum of 20 shades on their foundation which was really exciting for me because i only prefer reviewing foundations which are inclusive so that i find a shade for myself and any other girl watching can find a shade for themselves the best part that i liked about this launch was that 20 shades were launched straight up and not really launching 10 shades and then saying wait later on we we'll launch 10 more shades for you because i've seen brands do that and that's really not you being inclusive because when you do that you're making the darker skin tones just wait uh, for you to launch more shades like we are not your first preference and that's not okay of course k by katrina is a brand which is exclusively retailed only on nika so this was bought on nika by me it is not pr it is not sponsored my complete honest opinions on the product if you're interested to know how it wears the facts the finish the features and all of that and if you should be putting your coin into this foundation because at the end of the day it is 1200 rupees so that's a lot of money and you want to be making a wise decision so i'm going to help you make that before we continue with the video if this is the first time you've come here then hi i'm sarah i make beauty and lifestyle content here on youtube take a moment hit the subscribe button join the sarah squad you'll have a great time here and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified and with that let's dive straight into this okay so we have the foundation right here let's talk a little bit about the packaging it comes in this unicartin it has a little bit of a shade tint to it so you know uh, what shade you're ordering the shade number is right on top 165n is the shade i got for myself i really like the packaging on k by katrina products the bottle in itself is a glass bottle and it has the entire branding embossed over here the branding is very nice and minimalistic love the aesthetic of the brand the bottle is nice and sleek with a white cap and it has a pump applicator it's of course not travel friendly because it's a glass bottle also because it's a pump it might cause air pressure difference if you're traveling in the flight and it will cause a lot of leakage issues but i think wholesomely it's a really nice bottle plus if you throw away the unicartin you have all the details over here you have your shade you have the pricing mentioned which is 1200 rupees for this bottle so now if we talk about the price of this i feel the pricing is somewhere like the nyx foundations the nyx foundations are also 1200 rupees k by katrina as a whole is a drugstore brand it is affordable but it's not very affordable also it's like nyx and milani you know it's a little bit on the higher end of the affordable so honestly i feel they have stayed true to their pricing the way they price like their highlighters and their powders are somewhere around 800 rupees so if a foundation is 1200 and it's performing really Really well I always prefer investing in my foundations like I don't mind a hundred rupee highlighter but if my foundation is a good one my base makeup is looking good then I'm good throughout the day and my makeup will be looking flawless throughout the day so I always always believe in the fact that you should invest in your base makeup so let's try it out it's a hydrating foundation which is why I want to try it out because you know your girl is oily AF you can fry pakoras on my face and right now is the summer season and they've come out with a hydrating foundation so it's a little Mm, to me like you should have come out with this in the winters i don't know if covid postponed their launch or what was it but let's take a nice generous pump okay okay a lot of oh good good i'm hoping the shade match is good for me i've taken two generous pumps let's dot it on my face i'm gonna do one half with the sponge and one half with the brush like i always do in all my foundation videos so let's just dot it on my face first the consistency of the foundation is nice and thick it's not runny or fluidy so much so that it's like dripping on my hand let's first go in with the sponge i'm using the henna beauty sponge and i'm gonna press this on my face and blend the foundation in it does have a very very dewy finish to it like you can see it has some amount of shine to it the coverage is not full coverage at all like it's a like all of my imperfections if you will like all my acne marks my pits and everything are seeping through it's definitely like a sheer to medium coverage not a full coverage foundation and i'm more of a full coverage girl so i'm gonna like build up a little more and let's see if that helps it's definitely very hydrating very dewy not matte at all it is tacky and does transfer as well if you like don't set it in place then it will transfer throughout the day oh i forgot to use primer what <laughs> 
we have to use primer i know i'm a little late but i'm going to use the shambor anti shine primer i'm so sorry i have to give the foundation a fair shot and since it's a oily foundation i want to use a primer that minimizes my pores so luckily we've not put foundation in this area we'll just press the foundation in my pores and call it a day <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to use the brush and I'm just going to go on this side with the brush. Let's see if this gives us more coverage. The shade match is pretty on point. So 165N will work for you if you're an NC 43.5 in MAC. Uh, this is a neutral undertone. I would prefer a warmer undertone. But I felt like the next shade was too dark for me. So I went for 165N. If you're a little bit warmer, I think with concealer and bronzer, we can definitely balance it out. Plus the fact being that it's not a full coverage foundation. It's not really causing a lot of coverage to happen on my face. It's actually very, very sheer. Super sheer to the fact that I think I'm not liking the finish of it. Okay, so we have one layer of the foundation in and uh, so far I feel like the blending on both sides is very similar. The brush and the sponge both are equally blended. Like we don't see any disparity as such in the dewiness or the coverage. On the other hand, I genuinely am not liking the coverage of this foundation because it's very, very sheer. It was very thick. I used like two pumps on my entire face and I'm not really liking that it's not covered like any of my imperfections. You can see my hyperpigmentation. You can see my acne marks, pits and everything. So if you have like really flawless skin, you have no marks whatsoever to cover and you want a foundation that's just like lightweight gives you like a base and then you can go in with makeup then maybe you'll like this but if you are somebody like me who wants full coverage or at least medium coverage on a day-to-day -day basis then I don't think this is it for me additionally it's not very dewy also like I'm not I thought I would be more irritated about the fact that it would be super oily and very hydrating yeah you know slip and slide karega because it's a hydrating foundation and it has like nourishing ingredients in it but honestly, that is not an iffy part for me. The coverage is what is bothering me more because the hydration factor is pretty okayish. Like my skin is not looking or feeling very oily or slippy slidey. Like if I set my makeup with powder, I think I'll be good to go. We are definitely running a wet test, so we'll see how it wears throughout the day. But I feel one layer of the foundation is not doing it for me. It is not covering anything. So let's go in with another layer. Or as I went in with another fresh layer of foundation, used two more pumps to get this much coverage. So I would say like using two pumps on my face gave me like sheer coverage and then when I added two more pumps, it's medium coverage. So it's definitely a buildable foundation. You can build up the product, but remember that if you want medium coverage you will need like a lot more product than you usually use with foundations i think what is lacking in this product is pigment like they should have gone in with a heavier pigment so that a little bit of product would have gone a long way when it comes to the shade match it is spot on i'm really liking how the shade is looking on my skin and also it's not like creasing anywhere so far like it's not sinking into my fine lines in my nose area over here is a little bit of a trouble zone for me the foundation usually like starts to collect but it's not happening over here because this foundation's formula, like the fluid consistency is nice. It will glide and blend on your face really well. It's not giving me a hard time to blend at all. So that I really like about this. So that was all about my first impressions by using the foundation. This is what I think right now. We'll wear it throughout the day, see if my opinions change at the end of the day. Let me give you a close up of what my skin is looking like right now. Let me quickly go off camera, do the rest of my makeup and be right back. Alright, I'm back. I've done my full face of makeup. I'm going to leave the list of the products that I'm using currently on my face in the description box in case you want any details. Truth be told, everything was super easy to blend over this foundation. Nothing was really a thrust that nahi blend or kuch problem ho thi. Nothing of that sort. The only place I had a little bit of an issue was over here. That is because of the primer jugaad that I did. I put my primer after my foundation almost. So that is the reason like... My concealer was boiling up a little over here but then we sorted it out with powder and everything so it all looks good and looks really decent and nice and I like how my skin is looking. In fact, after using concealer and powder and I used the K by Katrina powder itself, uh, it gave me quite a lot of coverage. So now I think my face is looking the way I would like it to look. Also, the foundation is not that hydrating or dewy because there is no like oil or dewiness on my face because of the foundation. Uh, after setting it with powder, it very much like sets matte. So if you have oily skin, I don't think that should be an issue for you that the foundation is hydrating and you can't use it. Let me give you a close up. Let's see what the skin is looking like right now with full face of glam. Glam. 
All right, so far so good. I'm not loving the foundation, but I definitely think it's not making it to my hate list as well as of now. All right, so it's about four o'clock right now. I'm gonna wear this foundation on till at least ten o'clock because I wanna run a six-hour wear test. So let's see how it wears at the end of six hours. Let's see if it gets any more oily or if the hydrating factor really messes with my oily skin. And yeah, I'll check in with y'all at the end of my day. I have a hectic day ahead of me. Lots of work to get done. Lots of videos to shoot and videos to edit. So I will see you at ten o'clock now. You guys, I look like shit because it's been a long hectic day. There was a lot of work to complete. It's actually way past six hours. It's eleven o'clock in the night right now. It's been a long and hectic day for me. But the foundation I feel has weared really beautifully. The one concern I had was that it's very like pasina and oily and greasy. It will happen, but it's not anything. It's not. If you can see, the foundation is still pretty much matte in areas. Like it's matte and it's there, very much there. In fact, I'm so you who I let you. I've just taken therapy. I've just taken physiotherapy from my best friend. So you know. I've been through a lot today, and still the foundation has stayed put. The only thing was that coverage it not high me right from the beginning. There was no like much coverage. The only thing is like in these areas, if you can see, thoda patchy lag raha like foundation around my mouth and in this area and stuff. So around six to seven hours later, it starts to like collect up, but it's not that bad. It's definitely something that you can work around. But since the price is twelve hundred, and I've used four pumps to get this, I would still give it a six on ten. It's something that if you have like all combination types and you are finding your shade in it and you want to try it out, then I think you should. But if you have another good foundation and you don't want to really look into it or invest into it, then I think you can let it pass. It's like an okayish launch for me. It's not very good, like where I would say like it's the best thing ever. My base is looking good, definitely. I got a lot of good responses on Instagram as well, so I like it and I will continue to use it. But I would still give it a six on ten because it used up a lot of product and it is slightly expensive on the expensive price, right? So that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed and could make a better decision after watching this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For today's video, the Sarah Squad shout out goes to Taiba Khureshi. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video, Sarah Squad shout out, hit the subscribe button, bell icon right next to it, and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad, and you get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sarah Squad shout out. I will see you guys very soon. another video bye guys love you mm -hmm.